Hello and welcome to our latest tutorial video on the OpenCM904. In this tutorial video, I will be showing you how you can power the OpenCM904 with Dynamixel. The OpenCM904's operation voltage is 5 to 16 volts. You can supply power in the following manner. Micro B USB cable, battery via the VCC plus and ground minus pins. The micro BUSB cable is used not only to download programs to the OpenCM904 from your PC, but also to supply power to the OpenCM904. Simply connect the cable to your PC and the micro BUSB port and the power LED will turn red. If you are trying to program the OpenCM904 without any Dynamixels connected, you can simply use the micro BUSB cable. However, you should never solely use the micro BUSB cable to power Dynamixel. When Dynamixel is connected to the OpenCM904, always connect a battery or an external power source via the VCC and ground pins. Note that upon connection of a battery or an external power source, the USB power is automatically disconnected and power is supplied via the battery or external power source. If you are trying to control Dynamixel XL320s via the OpenCM904, you must supply 7.4 volts of power. We recommend using two LBS 040 3.7 volt lithium ion batteries. You can purchase the LBS 040 batteries at www.robotis.us. So, once I have the XL320 connected to my OpenCM904 and the batteries connected to the battery port, I will flip the power switch on. Once I do so, the LED on the back of the XL320 will blink red once, indicating the establishment of a successful connection. If you are trying to control other Dynamixels via the OpenCM904, Robotis recommends powering them via the VCC plus and ground minus pins. If you are powering the AX series Dynamixels, for example, you can use the LB010 11.1 volt lithium polymer battery. You can purchase the LB010 battery at www.robotis.us. So here I have a Dynamixel AX12+. Once I have the AX12 Plus connected to my OpenCM904 and the battery connected to the VCC and ground pins, I can flip the power switch on. The LED on the back of the AX12 Plus will blink red once, indicating a successful connection. So in this example, the LED blinked once, but it's very faint and you might not have been able to see it. Avoid connecting multiple and different power sources to the OpenCM904 at the same time. Lastly, please remember to only connect the LBS 040 batteries to the battery port. In the next tutorial video, I will be showing you what sensors you can use with the OpenCM904 and how you can use them.